know what's causing that? Stay tuned to find out. Hello everyone, welcome to How to Helen, where you learn something different every day. Today we will be replacing a top engine mount or upper engine mount of a 2000V Dodge Neon. This particular car is experiencing excessive vibrations on idle. When you replace the engine mount, you're supposed to do top and bottom at the same time. Otherwise, the newer one will take most of the load and it will wear out faster. I will make a separate video for the bottom engine mount later, but for now, we'll tackle the upper engine mount. Now before you start dismantling anything, make sure you have a 15mm pass-through tool because this bridge requires you to have a pass-through tool in order to remove and put them back together. If you don't have this pass-through tool, you're going to have a hard time removing it or working on this project. So if you don't have one, get one first before starting. Alright, we'll start by loosening this 18 millimeter ball. That's it. Just a little part on it. Next is this 18 millimeter bolt that connects to the engine. Then loosen the 15 millimeter nuts on the bridge. We do have a heat wave right now, so you see me sweating a lot, that's, that's the reason. Plus I'm fat. Pretty loose. You still have a problem. There's a knot in the bottom here. Bottom of this one got loose but did not release the nut. Huh. So you know the saying, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And this is no exception. So interestingly, this is the nut that gave me a problem. It is in between two metal sheets that's loose. So when I got the bolt loose, I wasn't able to properly take it out because this was going around with it. And because the AC lines are in the way, it was so hard to get the, the bolt off. Huh. Good design Dodge. Make our lives harder. We like that. So back to our regular programming. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two engine mounts. And if you can see, this one is pretty shot. Moves easily in the middle. That's why you have excessive vibration inside the cabin. 
compared to this one. See, this one barely moves. So putting it back in is just the reverse of what we just did. All right, let's finish the job. All right, putting it back. There is a lip here by the bridge of the engine mount. Make sure that this part of the engine mount goes to that. Make sure that the bottom nut that I showed you earlier lines with the bolt, which I guess is the challenge right now. There you go. Right, just just start putting the bolts together. Don't. Tighten them yet, just to make sure they're all aligned. We'll start with this bolt since this is a challenging one. in the bottom was able to lock into the loose nut at the bottom which is making me which is allowing me to tighten it oh. all right then we'll do this side engine bolt next then make sure that the lip is still aligned to the bridge All right before tightening it completely put the bridge back up again is a 15. So if you didn't have the pass-through wrench, you'll have a hard time with an open wrench because it will be hitting everything on the side. The engine mount, the hoses, there's no way that you can put this back without an open wrench. I mean a pass-through socket wrench, socket, pass-through socket. Right, I don't have the specific torque for this. Just go online and check the correct torque. I'll check it later. But make sure you torque them properly. Don't over torque them. And just double check your work. Let's try if we fixed it. I'll put it in drive. All right, the excessive vibration is gone. So this has been another episode of How to Helen. Thank you for watching.